Hello, welcome to this tutorial of tipsblog.net. Today we are going to see how to swing a system partition just to create a new partition for our documents. We search in control panel for administrative tools and then computer management and then again disk management. Okay, disk management and we can see the local hard disk. Now right click and click on shrink. The computer is querying for the shrink space. We can choose how many megabytes we want. Okay, just click shrink. Generating the shrink process is very fast. Okay, now we have a new unpartitioned space. We right click on it and choose to create a new volume. Just click uh, next. Just uh, click if you want, you can change the label and click finish to format the new unit. Okay almost done and we have created a new partition for our data. Now we want to move the documents folder to the new data partition. So we just go to computer, we create a new folder in the data uh, hard disk, for example uh, we, can, we can call it documents Okay, and now we need to, to say to Windows that uh, the path has changed. So we just right click on my documents, we right click on properties and in the location tab we just click move. We search for the new folder that we have created and just select uh, OK. Windows is going to ask you if you wish to do this. Just click yes. OK. And now we have uh, a new documents uh, folder in uh, the second partition. So in a safe place. Then we just need to create a backup copy of the system. We just go to system and security in the control panel, the cap and restore. We click on create a system imaging. OK. Uh, we can now select to backup uh, our system image to the uh, to the other partition of if we have an external drive we can uh, make the, back the backup uh, on the external drive. We just click next and just confirm and start the backup. The backup uh, uh, will take a lot of time to complete, so we are just now cutting the time. OK, now it's almost done. The last question is if you want to create a system repair disk. This is highly recommend that you create this disk so you can access to the Windows system even if you can boot from it. And when you click on yes, uh, Windows is going to ask you just to insert a DVD and you can start to record it. Thank you for watching this tutorial from uh, tipslock.net. See you again soon.